Hi guys, today I'm going to show you guys an easy tip on how to get your exhaust tips looking really shiny and brand new. Now I tend to see a lot of GTIs looking really really clean but with extra extra dirty exhaust tips. So just for the purposes of this video I've gotten my exhaust tips nice and dirty and I've actually not cleaned them at all for the last couple of months just to show you guys this trick. This is something that is really not that complicated to do and it's actually something you can use on pretty much any car. It's pretty much the easiest trick you'll ever find to clean your exhaust tips. To top it off, this is not even really a very expensive thing and really all you need is one of two things. One is either rubbing alcohol, right? So this is about 50 bucks, really not that expensive. Or you could use brake cleaner. One of these two things. The last thing you're going to need is an old toothbrush. What I've done is to make the rubbing alcohol easier to spray onto the brush, I basically put it in the spray bottle. It's going to make it a lot easier to get on the brush itself. Whereas the brake cleaner actually comes with this little straw, which is going to make it a lot easier for you to spray onto the brush. So we're going to use both things, both brake cleaner and rubbing alcohol as well. Right, so we're going to do this on the one exhaust tip, this on the other. Let's see the results. So, that's the rubbing alcohol. Let's try that. Just spray it onto your brush like that. See how easily that comes out. Just be careful to not get this stuff on your paint. Remember, Rubbing alcohol and brake cleaner are both flammable, so just be careful with that. Don't do this when your car is on. See how clean that came out. Just use an old rag to wipe the tip and look at that. That's just with one pass. Right, you can actually do this a couple of times. And just spray the rubbing alcohol onto the brush, get it nice and wet, and just agitate. Let's give it a nice brushing. Look at that. It's really not that difficult, guys. Just takes a little bit of effort, a little bit of elbow grease, and it's easily done, pretty much. How difficult is that? All you guys driving around in GTI is that have dirty exhaust tips covered with exhaust soot. Just take some time and go and clean your exhaust tips. Trust me, it gives you a lot of personal satisfaction as well. Look at that. Look how good that looks. Look at, that. Look at the way it's sparkling. Look at that difference between the left one and the right one. Just a little bit of time, a little bit of elbow grease, that's all it took. Look at the big difference. Okay, now on the second one we are going to use some brake cleaner. Right, so pretty much the same method again. Just take a brake cleaner, spray it onto the brush. Between the two, Kind of difficult to say which one works better. They both have pretty much the same effectiveness, really, I'd say. Yeah, so these brushes go from cleaning your teeth to cleaning your exhaust tips. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty big difference in just one pass. I'd say both of these work pretty well. So, it's really difficult to say which is better. What do you guys think? Let's give us another pass. Oh, I feel like the brake cleaner just looks better. Yeah, I'm going to give the brake cleaner a more fire rating. They both work well, but I feel like the brake cleaner does a better job. Look at the difference. 
also use some furniture polish just to get the tips a little bit extra shiny works very well and just use an old rag as well spray it on like this And there we have it, with just two fairly cheap products in brake cleaner and uh, rubbing alcohol. You have some really shiny exhaust tips, that's all it takes. It's really not even that expensive and just the feeling of having a really clean car with clean exhaust tips, it's good to look at. So give it a shot. There's no sense in having a clean car with soot covered exhaust tips that just don't go and match. Look at that, does that not make you feel much better?